Good morning, class. Um, today we're going to review the KWL chart. We've been doing this, this chart in class a lot. So can anyone tell me what the K means and what we put in this column? Good, it means what I know. So in this column we put what we already know about the topic. Does anyone remember what we put under the W column? What I wonder. Good, so what I wonder. And then who can tell me what we put under the L column? What I learned. Good, so what we learned is what we put in this column. So today we are going to use this chart to um, learn about storms. So can anyone tell me what they already know about storms? They're scary. I don't like storms. Good, yeah, they're scary. So get your chart out and we're going to fill this in together. Okay, is there an, another thing that you already know about storms? It thunders and it rains sometimes. Good, yeah, it does. So. Okay. Anything else you guys know? The sky gets really dark. Good. Okay, you guys should be filling this out on your chart. Touch your nose whenever you're done writing. Okay, so now we're going to fill out what I wonder column. So what do you guys wonder about storms? I wonder why it has to rain when it storms. Okay. Okay, what else do you wonder? I wonder if lightning is dangerous. Okay. What else? What is a snowstorm called? So now that we have filled out our chart, we are going to read a book in, about storms and see what we can learn about storms. So we're going to read the book, What's the Weather? Okay, so what's the weather? What's the Weather has a smaller story inside of it, and this one is called when a Storm Comes Up by Alan Fowler. It feels good to be out in the sunshine on a warm day, but the weather can't be nice all the time. In fact, you should be glad it rains sometimes. Nothing could grow without rain. No fruits or vegetables, no trees or grass or flowers. A light rain is called a drizzle. A little heavier rain is a shower. And if it's really pouring, that's a rainstorm. When the sky becomes very dark, a thunderstorm could be on its way. Even before the heavy rain reaches you, you might see flashes of lightning and hear deep, rolling thunder. Lightning can be dangerous, so you'd better get indoors. We're learning about all different kinds of storms, guys. Does it snow a lot where you live? After a snowstorm, it's fun to go sledding, or to build a snowman, or to have a snowball fight. I don't think we get enough snow to do all of that. 
but it's not fun for the people who must shovel paths in the snow so they can leave their houses, or who must dig their cars out of the snow. A snow that brings this much snow is called a blizzard. Some storms bring sleet, a mixture of rain and snow. You have to walk very carefully because sleet can make the sidewalks icy and slippery. In a hailstorm, raindrops freeze into ice before they reach the ground. Hail can be as big as this. Do you see that? That's really big. But don't worry, hailstones are almost always much smaller. Among the worst kinds of storms are hurricanes and tornadoes. A hurricane forms over the ocean. When it reaches land, the winds may be so strong that they blow trees down. The rains so heavy that they cause floods. The waves so high that they wash houses and sand beaches into the sea. A tornado forms over land. The winds whirl around in a tall, funnel-shaped column. Cars, roofs, even an entire house can be sucked up off the ground by a tornado. The government has a weather service that works to learn when a hurricane or a tornado is forming and which way it is going. The weather service tries to warn people who live along the storm's path in time for them to leave the area or take shelter. In this way, many lives are saved, but nothing can stop a tornado or a hurricane from causing damage to property and the land. So next time it's raining a little too hard for you to go out and play, be thankful that it's just an ordinary storm. And the end. Okay, we'll read this story tomorrow. Okay, class, so we have seen this type of chart recently, and we've been calling it our bubble map, and we put our main idea here in the big circle, and then we put different things about the main idea in the smaller circles around it. So today, since we've learned about storms, we are going to fill out this bubble map, and we're going to put a type of storm that we learned about in this middle big circle as our main idea. Okay, so our main idea today is going to be a thunderstorm, because that is a type of storm we learned about in our book. Okay, so our main idea is thunderstorms. So, can somebody tell me characteristics of a thunderstorm that we just learned about in our book? So, these would be maybe things that happen when it's thunderstorming outside. So, what do you think would happen in a thunderstorm? Megan? It thunders. Okay, there would be thunder. What else? Yes? There's lightning. Lightning. What else? The sky gets dark. The sky gets really dark. Sometimes it can be all funky colors like orange or green. Okay, anything else that would happen in a thunderstorm that would be a characteristic of a thunderstorm? It rains a lot. Rains a lot. So a lot of rain. Okay, so in this circle down here, we're going to put how this type of storm makes us feel. So how does a thunderstorm make you feel? Scared. Scared? Good job. Okay. Then down here, we are going to put what we do when this type of storm happens. So in a thunderstorm, what do you do when a thunderstorm is about to happen? You go inside. Okay. So the book told us that we should go inside when a thunderstorm is about to happen. Anything else? The book didn't say anything else. Okay, so let's stick with that. And for different types of storms, we do different things. 
So in a snowstorm, there's things that you would that you would have to do that you could probably still do in a thunderstorm. Um, okay, so then our last bubble up here is going to be questions that we still have about thunderstorms. So what are some questions that you guys still have? Why are thunderstorms so loud? Okay, why are thunderstorms loud? Okay, so good job class. We filled out our bubble map about thunderstorms. So now at your tables, each, of, each table should have a map that looks just like this but there's nothing filled out in these smaller bubbles, but you guys should have a topic written in your big bubble. And you all will have different types of storms. So some of you might have a snowstorm, another table might have a rainstorm, or another table might have a tornado. And so with your team at your tables, you are going to fill out this chart together. Okay, so you already have your main idea. So in this bubble, remember, we're gonna put what happens during that type of storm? What are characteristics of that type of storm? How that storm makes you feel? What you do when that type of storm happens? And what are some questions that you still have about that type of storm? Because we learned about so many in the book, so we probably still have questions about those types of storms. Okay, so we're going to give you guys some time to work at your tables and fill out your bubble map. And I'm going to leave this one up here so you guys have an example if you forget what goes in the bubbles. And we'll be walking around if you guys have questions, okay? Okay, you guys have had 10 minutes. We saw that most of your tables are finished. You're finishing up. Uh, Miss Marvin was passing out sticky notes to everyone. So now take out your sticky note, and I want you guys to write something that you learned from our book or from your map that you made with your classmates. And when you're finished, you're going to come put that sticky note up on here and line up so we can go to lunch. You guys did a great job today. So I want to see you guys coming up with your sticky notes. 